and welcome to episode 60 of the Graceful Hangle podcast. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I can't believe we're already at episode 60. I've said it before, and I'll probably say it every time we're at one of these numbers, but every time I hit a multiple of 5 or 10, I just get excited. It seems monumental, even if it's, you know, just a few weeks difference when you're recording every week. So, anyway, episode 60. That is crazy. I've been doing this for quite a while now, and it feels like I recorded the very first episode just yesterday. It's crazy. So, today is Saturday, July 3rd. I hope you have all had a wonderful 4th of July weekend if you're in the U.S., and just a great weekend if you are elsewhere in the world. Um, I am so grateful for weekends. I'm, I'm grateful to live in a world where there are weekends, um, especially during school season. It's just really nice to have a couple of days off in the midst of all of the craziness that is college. Um, but anyway, so in this week's episode, I have some, I have one finished object to talk about, a couple of whips, um, and then some new designs, some new, some old. It's going to be a good episode. I'm really, really excited about it. So we're just going to hop right into it today. But first, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. I have lots of fun things coming up that I cannot wait to share with you guys. So be sure to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on anything. Also, I have show notes linked in the description box below, so be sure to check those out if you have any other questions about what I'm talking about today. Um, but you can also ask me in the comments or reach out to me in another social media way, which will all be linked down in the description box as well. So be sure to check that spot out because there's only so much information in that little area. Okay, so like I said, I have lots of fun things to talk about today, so we're just going to jump right into it with a finished object. Okay, so like I said, I have one finished object to share today, and I'm so excited about it. It is definitely not something that I planned on finishing in time to share as a finished object this week, but I'm really happy I did, and that is my new rug. So this is a project that I believe I had started in the last, or last week, in last week's episode, um, in episode 59, but I knew I was going to rip it out. Um, and I, like, at the time, I wasn't even using a pattern, I don't think. I don't know. Rugs are always, I've made a few, um, and especially round rugs, it's always a little bit tricky. Like, you have to get the numbers and the, like, ratios just right so that they don't end up rippling instead of flat. Um, but anyway, I did use a pattern for this. I honestly do not remember what it's called. Um, I could probably find it if I tried, but it was, like, just so random. Like, it was a random blog that I stumbled upon, and she had directions and so that's what I followed. Um, I did change up the edging though, which I'll talk about in a second. So here is what what here is what the rug looks like. I just love it so much. It's exactly what I envisioned. It's pretty big. Um, let's see if it's my full wingspan. It's almost my full wingspan. So it's probably let's see, I it's probably about fifty inches um in diameter. So just a little bit of a estimate for you. I haven't measured it, but I, that's my guess. Um, so it has two rounds of double crochet and then a round of like lace or eyelets. Um, it's just a double crochet with a couple of chains in between. And then the edging, the pattern called for a scalloped edge, which is honestly what I was planning on doing. Um, but then I had the idea to do a reverse single crochet edge and I love it. So this is literally crocheting backwards and this is what it looks like. Um, I believe it's also called the Crab Stitch. You might be more familiar with that name, but um, I just love the way that this turned out. It took a while, I guess, but honestly not that long. It was pretty quick. Um, and yeah, it matches my room so well. It's going to look amazing. I'm so excited to set it up and put it, you know, where it's supposed to be and how it's supposed to be. Um, and I just love it. So the one that I used is here's one of the labels but it's blocked it's a kramer brand i believe is how you say it and it is a linen blend 22 wait 42% cotton 22% linen 20% viscose 11% acrylic and 5% silk so it has quite a few different fibers in here um it's also a dk weight and i held two strands together so I really thought this yarn would work well for a rug because it already kind of has a little bit of a fuzz factor. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on screen. 
Um, it's just the, the nature of the yarn is already just a little bit fuzzy. And the linen gives it that kind of like earthy, crunchy feel, especially when paired with the cotton. So I think it's going to last a long time. I don't think it's going to show wear as easily as some other rugs that I've made in the past, which have um, all been acrylic or acrylic blends. So I will report back in a few weeks on how this is holding up. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping that it lasts a long time. Anyway, love, love, love the way it turned out, and I used an 8mm hook for that if you are curious, and I absolutely love the gauge that I got. It was pretty perfect and so, so fun to make. Um, it was also really mindless too, which I appreciated throughout the week. It was a really busy school week, so it was really nice to have this to work on in between subjects. Okay, so that is my one and only finished object. I love it so much. I'm so happy with the way that it turned out, and I'm really excited to finally have a rug for my room. Um, I've been wanting one for a while, and honestly, I was planning on buying one because I, I just didn't know what content to go with in terms of yarn, um, but I found that accidentally, and I think it's going to be amazing. So, like I said, I will report back. Alrighty, I have multiple fit not finished objects, multiple works in progress to talk about, so let's just go ahead and jump into that. Alrighty, so like I said, I have a good number of works in progress to chat about today. I think I have three or four. One, two, three. I thought there was one more, but now I don't remember. Maybe just three. Anyway, good number, and I'm really excited about all of them. So, first up are my July socks. So, this is my pair of socks that I'm knitting throughout the month of July. Um, this year, I have challenged myself to knit a pair of socks every month that specifically relate to that month in some way. So basically, I've just set a couple of little criteria for myself, um, a different yarn every month, which, you know, obviously isn't difficult, um, and then a different designer. So I might do multiple patterns by a designer throughout the year. Um, I've already done that, but um, just a different designer, I guess, month to month is kind of my goal. Um, but yeah. I love these socks already, and they are going so well, and I literally just started them. So, I am knitting the Austin Socks, which is a pattern by Kay of the Crazy Sock Lady. This is actually a free pattern in her shop, um, and, it's one, and it is one that I have been wanting to make for a while, and I am just now getting around to it. Um, so, here is what my sock looks like so far. I have finished the cuff, and then I am on to the leg right now. So I don't know how well it's going to pick up on camera, but basically there's these little squares of a garter in the midst of all of the stockinette on the leg. And it's just such a simple and fun addition to the pattern. I think it's so cute. Um, well, I guess I don't know if I should say cute. These were designed for her son, so maybe cute isn't the right word. But um, I think it is gender neutral. It's a really good pattern, um, and I'm already having a lot of fun knitting them. So... Start off with a 2x2 two two cuff for 20 rounds, which is my preferred length, so that worked out perfectly. And then I am just knitting along the leg now. So I have one repeat done. Um, I believe she calls for... Let me just look at the pattern real quick. She calls for four repeats and then half of the repeat again um, for a total of 64 rounds. So I generally do 40 round legs instead of 64 um, or more than that. So that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably change that up a little bit, but who knows? I might make them longer. Um, I'm really, really loving this pattern. That was just so fun and easy to memorize. Um, it's really, really nice. And it's going to be even easier to memorize and to keep track of once I have this full repeat done, which I do, because, um, it's like the same over and over and the squares line up. So it's going to be awesome. Um, the yarn that I am using is Knit Picks Hawthorne Speckle in the Cosmic Speckle colorway. So I thought this would be a really fun colorway for my July socks. It kind of reminds me of um, fireworks and just, you know, all of those fun colors. But it's also summery. I really, really love it. So having a lot of fun with these already. I just started them yesterday, I think. But I did like one round yesterday. So I did the majority of this early this morning. Um, and yeah, love, love them so much. I'm really excited to have the first one done just so I can try it on and see how it looks. Okay, so those are my high July socks. Let me go ahead and put that pattern back in here as well. There we go. 
Okay, my next work in progress is my Blue Ridge shawl. So this is a pattern by K of K Crochets. I've talked about it for multiple weeks now. Um, it's been kind of a slow going work in progress, but that is exactly what I intended it to be. Um, just nice and therapeutic and relaxing. Um, and it has been exactly that. It's just been the perfect project for this time of year. So here is my progress. If I can show you without ripping out my work, I'm trying not to lose all my stitches here. Okay, we're good. Yay, really glad that I left that nice long tail. I'm actually going to move my marker up so that I can tighten it. Let's see here. There we go. Okay, so that is nice and secure. Here is my progress. So this is a triangular shawl that's worked from end to end. So I started here and then I increased all the way to a point which you can see um, and now I am just working on it, decreasing it back down. I know that this line is a mistake and it is just crazy and slightly annoying to me how well it picks up on camera because seriously I mean it's just weird. Like I can tell in person but not not that much. It's just crazy to me. Um, but anyway, so this is going so well. I am now into the next and last, I think. Yes, last faded section. So I'm just repeating this section except with colors two and three instead of one and two right here. Um, so yeah, it's going so well. I'm super excited to have it done. I expect to have it done very soon. Um, and I can't wait to get some pictures of it. It's going to be really, really nice. So the yarn that I am using is Ricochet Kotlin in three different colors. Here is the two that I'm using right now. The first gray is silver. Yeah. So the first gray, ah, this one, is silver. And then this medium gray, which is the center here, is called Carrera. And then this darker gray that I'm now fading in is Rocket. So it's going to be really beautiful. I'm really excited about this. So, and like I said, I, I mentioned this um, uh, last week, I think. But I really want to make a solid shawl like this as well. So I might just like cast that on as soon as this one's done. Because I'm really having a lot of fun with this project. Um, but I think if it were one color, it would be even more mindless. Um, and that is definitely what I'm craving right now. So. Love this project so much. I love this stitch. It's just been so, so nice to work on. So there is that project. I'm super excited to see it growing and everything fall on the floor. Here's the hook that I'm using, by the way. Love, love, love this hook. Um, it's the Radiant Wood Tunisian Crochet Hook by, again, Re Crochet. Um, yeah, it's really awesome. I'm really, really enjoying using it. Okay, and then my next work in progress. And I think this is my last one. Let's see here. Yes, I believe this is my last work in, pro work in progress. And it is my Drop VT. So this is a pattern by Cleo of Perfectly Knotted. I've been working on it for a couple of weeks now, not too long. Um, and I've made some significant progress this week. So here is what it looks like. Uh, it's beginning to look like a sweater and it feels like butter. Oh my goodness, it is so soft. So here is what it looks like. I'll go nice and slow that, so that you can see it. So this pattern is worked top down raglan style. You start off flat to shape the v-neck and then you join in the rounds um, and then work in the round for the rest of the pattern. I am just working on I'm losing all my stitches. This yarn is amazing, but it's so slippery. So I'm constantly losing my stitches. Anyway, so I am working along the body right now. And I have done this much from the underarm. So according to the pattern, I am exactly halfway done. Um, before I get to the drop stitch section. Now, I think I'm going to want to make it a little bit shorter than what the pattern actually calls for. Um, right now, it lines up really well with the shirt that I'm wearing right now, actually. And right now, it hits right at my waist maybe just slightly below my waist um it's well i don't know i can't tell i need to try it on um that's why i haven't worked more because i need to try it on and figure out how long it needs to be i don't want it to be too long um but i i think what i need to do is actually like come up with an outfit that i have in mind 
um, and see how long it needs to be to work with that because I don't want it to be too long that it covers my shorts or anything because this is um, a tee that I plan on wearing this summer um, but at the same time I don't want it to be too short that I have to wear something under it which might be a delicate balance I might need to wear a tank before I do it anyway who knows but either way it's going very very well and I am obsessed with this project I'm really excited that I'm filming now, honestly, because I just want to work on this so badly. Um, and I wanted to stop here for the podcast because I'm at a good stopping point. So, anyway, now I get to work on it again. The yarn that I'm using is Knit Picks Shine Sport in the colorway Roosteria. Um, It's just such a beautiful lavender color. I was a little bit on the fence about it. I didn't want it to look too, like, pastel or, you know, girly or anything. Um, but I think it's really, really pretty. I'm excited about it. So, I think it's going to be a really fun knitted item to wear throughout the summer. And I'm super excited about it. I'm hoping to have it. I'm hoping. Goodness gracious. My words are not coming out right today. Um, I'm hoping to have it done really soon so that I can enjoy wearing it. Um, but yeah. Loving, loving this project. And again, that is the Draw VT by Quayo of Perfectly Knotted. I got a few questions about it last week. Um, but that is what it's called. So be sure to look it up if you want to knit it because I highly, highly suggest the pattern. Um, the layout of the pattern and just the way that the raglan instructions are given is unlike any method that I've ever seen. I know it exists. Um, like Claire isn't the first person to do that. And I don't mean that as in it's not original. I just mean that as in it's not daunting when you look at it. Um, but it's very different and I recommend reading it through. But once you read it through, it makes complete sense and it is so easy to follow along with. So I highly, highly recommend checking that pattern out. Okay, so I think that is it for all of my standard works in progress. Now I have a few designs to talk about, so let's just go ahead and jump into those. Okay, so I have a few designs to show you. I think one new one and then three that you have seen before. So first off, I do have a little finished object for Design Talk today, and that is my Hidden Trails socks. I meant to grab sock blockers and bring them over here, but I forgot. Anyway, so this pattern is actually released now. It is done with testing. As I'm recording this, it's done with testing, and I'm getting everything ready and set for the release on Monday. Um, but you will be seeing this on Tuesday, at least. So it is out, and I love this pattern so much. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Um, and I think it is just a really awesome pattern, and I'm really excited about it. So, these socks feature a 2x2 two two ribbed foot, just like that, and then a stockinette and back. Um, and this specific yarn is Koi Fish Fibers in the colorway um, Into the Woods, I think. I think that's right. Maybe on the... I don't remember exactly what the colorway is called, but the pattern is Hidden Trail. Um, and yeah, so be sure to check it out if you haven't already. I'll link the pattern down below. Um, it's just a really good gender neutral pattern. I am so excited that this pair is done because I cannot wait to cast on my own pair. I'm still figuring out what you and I want to use, um, but I think I want to do a solid color. So, I don't know, stay tuned because I'm definitely going to be casting on a pair very, very soon. Okay, so that is that project. Next up. I have another pair of socks. So these have just entered the testing phase. These are my rainstorm socks is what they're going to be called. This is the pattern that I am designing in collaboration with um, Pretty Twisted Yarns and I love it so much. I'm just absolutely obsessed with her yarn. Self-striping is so much fun to use and hers is absolutely amazing. I cannot get over how even all of the colors are. Um, and the stripes and how they just match up perfectly with one another is absolutely amazing. I personally do not understand the science behind dyeing self-striping yarn yet, um, but I haven't got to figure it out and learn because, you know, while I don't plan on dyeing yarn and selling it one day, I would love to just learn and experiment and play with it. So I definitely need to take some lessons from her. But anyway, here are my socks. So I recently finished my pair and they are so cute and fun. I love this pattern so much and it makes me so happy to know that you guys do too. So this is just a really simple pattern, but it looks awesome, if I do say so myself. Not to be boastful or anything, but I just really like the way that it looks. 
Um, so this is what the front looks like. It's just slip stitches, guys. It is so simple. You can totally do it, I promise. Um, and yeah, I love the way that it looks. So pattern front, stockinette back, so it gives it a really fun way to show off the stripes. Um, you know, patterned and not patterned. Afterthought heel and a toe, of course. Um, but yeah, love, love, love these socks. And again, they have entered the testing phase. Um, so the pattern will be coming later in July. And I'm super excited about it. So stay tuned for that, for sure. I'm going to be doing another design with some more of her yarn as well. Because I have another ball of it. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to get that started really soon. Hopefully I'll have that to show next week. Alrighty, and then another design this blanket is almost completely done i've been working on the pattern a ton this week i have finished the sample minus one little finishing touch that i have to add um but here is what it looks like so this is going to be my new blanket design i'm not going to reveal the name just yet but it is completely finished i have finished the edging and yeah it's amazing Oh my goodness, I love it so much. I can't wait for it to be out to you guys because it will be coming very, very soon. Again, stay tuned. So many amazing things are happening. Um, but yeah, love this yarn so much. This is Knit Pigs or We Crochet, again, sister companies. Um, Brava, and then I used Brava Speckle as well. So that's what all of this yarn is. Um, and then the color in between is silver. So. I think it's really fun and beautiful. I have a super special name picked out. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for more info about this release because it is going to be so much fun. Okay, one more, one more, one more design to show. Oh, I just whacked the wall hanging behind me. So speaking of wall hangings, nice little unintentional segue. So this is my latest wall hanging design. So this is what it looks like. It is not released yet, so I know it looks completely done, but it's not quite done. Um, there's a few more things to add, but it is definitely getting there. Here is what it looks like, nice and slow. So I used Knit Picks Flava in three colors. Um, this green is fake, and I used a 100 gram scan of it. And then the, this is, um, oh, the name just completely, Seraphim is the lavender, and then the gray is Dove Heather, um, and I use the Brava Minis, which look like this for the little contrast colors. So these are super, super fun. Um, I have a couple of designs coming out using these actually over the course of this month, so stay tuned for those. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited about this pattern. It took me a really long time to get it to look exactly how I wanted it to, um, but I'm just so happy with it. So Again, this will be coming very, very soon. Um, it's almost done. Again, just a couple of little fin finishing touches to add. Um, but yeah, I love it so much. I definitely want to do more things kind of incorporating this chevron pattern because I think it is just so beautiful. Maybe like a full blanket. Would you like to see a knit version of this crochet blanket? I don't know. Let me know. Please let me know in the comments because now I like really want to do that. Oh, anyway, so, so pretty. I'm really excited with how this turned out. So, again, stay tuned for that pattern. So many fun things on the horizon, and I just can't wait to continue to share them all with you. Um, yeah, it's a really exciting time. I'm working on lots and lots of things, um, and I'm just so grateful to be here chatting about them with you. So, that is it for all of the yarny goodness for this episode. I do have a little devotional planned and a life update, so let's go ahead and hop into that. So for devotional this week, I wanted to chat about a blog post that I read earlier this week that has really just kind of stuck with me throughout the entire week, especially a specific quote that I wanted to chat about. So this blog post um, was written by a lovely woman named Katie. I will link the blog post um, in the show notes, so be sure to read it. I highly, highly recommend it. There's so many things that apply to me personally. Um, but I believe that there's something in it that can apply to anybody, no matter what season you're in. Um, so in this blog post, it was written many years ago, but it's definitely still applicable. Um, so Katie specifically talked about singleness and contentment. And while, you know, that's definitely something that I'm learning more and more about, 
There was one specific quote in this post that really got me thinking and stuck with me and something that I've been thinking about just throughout the entire week. That says... Let me find it in my little show notes here. <laughs> it says, Every season has its own value and purpose, and it's freeing to be able to trust him enough to embrace the story he's written just for you. So again, if I look to my right, it's just because I'm finding you know, what my show notes is so I don't miss anything that I wanted to mention. But that quote is so beautiful, and it just it sums up what I've been thinking about and what I've been trying to put into words throughout these past few months in my life. Um, the season that I am currently in is not something I could have dreamed up. I mean, it's crazy, it's difficult, and it's amazing all at the same time. College is not what I expected it to be. Um, you know, my jobs, while amazing and what I believe is perfect for me, are not typical. Um, and sometimes that can be a little bit hard to accept. And then, you know, like my social life, ideally, I would have a little bit more of one. So it's just all of these things that, you know, you can begin to question what's the purpose behind them all. And there are so many amazing things that have happened that I could not have even dreamed of happening. But there's also some things that I have dreamed of for a while and that haven't happened yet. And so again, it can just lead to those questions on to why am I in the season? You know, what is God trying to teach me? And I believe there's beauty and importance in that. But what there's more beauty in is what that quote says. And that is that God has written a story for each and every one of us. And he has also given us free will. So while we have the option to veer away from that path and to make our own decisions, we also have the choice and the beautiful choice, I might add, to commit to him and to commit to the path that he has laid out for us. And that is exactly what I am trying my best to do over this season no matter how crazy and difficult it might be, I know and I'm certain of the fact that there is purpose and beauty and just the opportunity to learn and grow through it. And so that is definitely what I'm focusing on. Um, and I encourage you to do the same. No matter what season you might be in, there is a purpose. There, you know, it, it might not be what you expected it to be. It might not even be what God originally intended it to be. But it is how it is because he wants you to sh he wants to show you something through it and so i encourage you to have open eyes to see the little blessings that he's placed in your life and to always stay on the path that he has written out just for you because it is a beautiful amazing path that is uniquely yours and i am so excited and grateful to continue to discover mine and to see all of you discover yours through this community i think it's a really beautiful experience so I hope that was a little bit of encouragement for you today. Now, jumping into a little bit of a life update. Not much has been happening. Well, lots of things have been happening. But in the grand scheme of things, not much has changed. Um, school is still as crazy as always. I am officially halfway done with this sem summer semester. And that is absolutely crazy. Um, I guess technically once I get through the first week of July, then it will really be halfway over because finals end the end of the first week of August. Um, but anyway, I am now done with my midterms. I have a co I had a couple of, I had one designated midterm, one exam that happened to land. It was like my first one for this class and it happened to land at this time. Um, and then I had like a typical exam that I have weekly for another class. Um, so I definitely all, you know, added up and jumbled on top of each other, but I got them all done and I'm so grateful. Um, I had a break from work this week, so I was able to really devote a lot of time into schoolwork, um, and I'm so grateful for that because I think I needed that just, like, laser focus on that, um, and I'm gonna have it again this week, and it's just gonna really, I don't know, kind of gear for a really good way to end the summer semester, I think, so lots of things are happening, but it's all good. I'm learning a lot. Um, business-wise, it's going amazing. I couldn't be more grateful for the changes that are coming and just the, I don't know, just the whole atmosphere. I'm so grateful to be a part of this little community and I'm so, so grateful to have you here. So grateful. So yeah, I hope you all have an amazing week and or that you, you know, if you haven't had a great one, I hope that it turns around and if you have, I hope that it continues to be that way. I hope that you're staying cool during these warm summer months. Or if you're in the summer hemisphere, I hope that you are staying nice and warm. Um, solstice just happened down there, so hopefully your days will be getting warmer and longer soon. Um, but anyway, 
thank you all so much for being here and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already again i have lots of things coming up one thing that i did want to briefly mention i did a live instagram nitpicks unboxing last week so i will link that down below if you want to check it out we had so much fun it was amazing being able to unbox that box with you guys um so be sure to check that out if you haven't already it was a lot of fun i can't wait to do more lives in the future so anyway thank you all so much for joining me i hope you all have an amazing week and until next time happy making bye